Hey guys, what is up? It is the Brickmaster, and today we are going to be reviewing a Lego Ninjago movie Sons of Garmonon set. But do not worry, there will be no spoilers in this video, since it, since at the time of the recording of this video, Sons of Garmonon has not come out yet. So, let's take a look at this set. So, if I can grab the box here. This is set number 70639, Street Race of Snake Jaguar. Comes with 308 pieces and two, three minifigures? I'm not sure. You can, let's just say two and a half. And it comes with Mr. E and Zane. You also get one of the Oni masks in this set. So you can see the box there. On the back, you can see some of the play features. So, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the minifigures. So, first off, here we have Zane. This is Zane with the Sons of Garmadon design. He is in his titanium form. Um, I feel like this season, he is going to be more of his humanoid clone version. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like the new designs. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these masks. And I'm also... I, I also don't know why they decided to go with the new face prints, but I do like it. On the back, you can see this is the same back face printing we've been getting for a while. And he has some very nice printing on the torso. You can see there, it's got lots of nice details and some shiny printing too. On the back, you can see he has his quiver. If I can get his head off with one hand, that would be amazing. Oh. Okay, everything is going everywhere. But you can see the back of his torso. And yeah, I just completely ripped apart Zane. So let me put him back together for you guys. Um, I like the new masks for these characters. Um, I feel like they definitely look better than the movie counterparts. I like how um, they kind of switched out the colors. And yeah. Oh yeah, and he also comes with a bow and arrow. Next up is Mr. E. He is exclusive to this set and the Temple of Resurrection. You can see his face print there. It's just eyes. There's no back face printing. He has a nice new um, armor piece. I, I believe that is new. And if I can take that off, you can see the rest of his printing. He has some very nice leg printing. I really like that. On the back, you can see the Sons of Garmadon logo. So, um... Yeah, this guy does not come with any accessories, but there are some accessories you can put on him that I will show you in just one second here. Let me get him built back up for you guys so you guys can see him one more time. So there he is. Um, This is a little shrine build for the mask of... I think this one is the Mask of Deception. This mask, um, this is not a spoiler, this is in the trailer. Um, it grants the person wearing it two extra arms, which is why it comes on a stand with the second torso. And there are two swords here for Mr. E. And what I really like about this is that they include an extra face print um, for this one instead of just including a black face so then you can just take Mr. E's head off and you don't have to attach it back on because it's already on this so um, yeah, you can once you put everything on he looks very cool so there is Mr. E with the mask of deception on I also really like the printing for this mask. 
Um, I think I like this one more than the orange mask, which I do have. Um, review on that set will be coming soon. But, uh, yeah. Then you can see on the back of the shrine, there's just a little translucent purple stud. So, yeah, let's just get all this mess out of the way. Actually, let me rebuild Mr. E here, so. Yeah. It's very easy to rebuild him. Alright. So, whose bike should we take a look at first? I think we should start with Zane's. So, here is Zane's bike. This bike does a couple of neat things. First of all, it can kind of bounce a little bit. It's not supposed to do that, but it can, which I really like. It rolls very nicely. It just has two wheels. Um, you can see it has a nice flag there. On the back has Zane's symbol for this season. And right here, there are some stud shooters that you can lift up like that. And there are also swords that Zayd can use, little silver katanas right there. And if you do lift these up, you can see the printing down there, which is a very nice print. And you can take this off. Oh yeah, this, this is his little control stick. This comes off a lot. Um, that's a sticker right there. In case you're wondering, it's not a new print, unfortunately. But this is Zane's new Falcon, I guess. It can just come off the bike, and it's just kind of a little flyer to go attack Mr. E and whatnot. And then there's just two little things there. It does kind of look like something's missing, but it doesn't look too bad without this, which I do like. Oh, yeah, and you can also move the head. Um, if you lift these up, you can bring these blades forward for defense, which is really cool. And Zane would sit right here. That is the new piece introduced for the Lego Ninjago movie, in case you're wondering. So, yeah, that's Zane's bike. Now, let's look at Mr. E's, um, Snake Jaguar. Isn't that what it's called? Snake Jaguar. So I assume this is Snake Jaguar. Unless this is. I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna call this Mr. E's bike. <laughs> um, this one doesn't do as much, but it definitely has more bulk and more pieces to it. I noticed with this one, there's more Technic connections than on Zane's bike. On the back here, or well, it's not really the back, just the other side. But on the front, you can see the front wheel has these nice spikes on them. I like the seat on this and the flag. The flag is very nice. This is the same flag that Kil Kilo has. So, yeah. And then there is the Nexonite shield piece. Which is very nice. Um, this one does not come off, like, at all because it's actually thoroughly attached. <laughs> but, yeah. There are also two stud shooters on this. They shoot um, translucent purple studs. And there are these little gear pieces that swing forward these little blades. So, yeah, that's very easy to do. You can just bring them forward. And then the little gear pieces on the wheel make them go up and down when you roll it. Which I think is very cool. So, guys, I think that will do it. For this set, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more LEGO videos coming in the future. Um, I have stopped taking a, taking a break from making videos. I was just trying to finish up all my sets. And I want to show you my new, I guess, LEGO room. 
it's very messy currently, but you can see that I have lots of built sets like the Master Falls or Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. I have Cole's mech, Kai's mech, Garbodon's mech, Nia's mech, Jay's mech, and Lloyd's. I have a custom mock over here that I might do a little review on. I have Garmadon's Volcano Lair, Manta Ray, oh, I've already done a review on that. But, um, yeah. So, that will do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.